Oh no, it's uh, it's just streaming. So that's go, just goes on Twitch and YouTube and. Oh, you're streaming? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That way we don't have to worry about files. Oh okay. Yeah, it goes straight into the cloud. <laughs> straight into the cloud. I see straight into this. Yeah. Sean, what's the meaning of thresher? The thresher is actually a type of shark. Um, so a type of what? A type of shark. So um, let's see. Hold on. How do you go to the the, you want to make it full screen? Uh, Why is it like that? Whatever. Uh, change the uh, swap the view on display show. Uh, where is it? Right. Yeah. There you go. Okay. There you go. Got it. Okay. So Thresher is a name that I might go with for the coaster. Um, Thresher is a type of shark, and since we're MDC, we're like the sharks. I thought it would be cool. Um, there's also another uh, another shark, Sicklefin. That I thought was a cool name. Um, so it's between Sicklefin or Thresher um, for like the name of the coaster. The name so of the a little bit of the background. Um, so what I'm working on is building a roller coaster here at MDC. Um, so I started it as like an impacts project, which is in the Honors College. Uh, we're required to do like, uh, we're, we have to change the community somehow. So um, I thought, why not just go all out and build a roller coaster? So um, why a roller coaster? So roller coasters have a bunch of different like benefits, pluses. Uh, one of them is it brings in a lot of people. So I think it'll boost attendance to at least the physics and calculus like departments uh, uh, because I hope for like physics and calculus professors to use this coaster to like model calculus, model physics, a bunch of physics concepts and calculus concepts. Um, so also 65% of the population are visual learners. So like not only will this help those people like actually see these concepts, but it'll like enhance, basically enhance the information that you're getting. So this is the model that uh, I'm trying to get back there behind the science complex. So the name, Thresher or Sicklefin, one of the two. The height is gonna be 26.933 feet tall. The length is gonna be 615.61 feet. The top speed is gonna be 27 miles per hour and there's gonna be nine airtime moments. So airtime moments are when, you know the little butterflies you get in your stomach? Those are airtime moments. So there's gonna have nine of those. Um, the max vertical angle is 65.5 feet. That's how like sharp the drop is essentially. So um, the type is, I'm probably gonna make it fully out of steel. Supports steel. Um, I was gonna start with lumber or, and make the sports out of lumber, but I'm probably gonna do all of steel. Uh, let's see. So partners, these are the people that I'm working with. So I'm currently working with this project uh, with steel. Okay. So they fabricate steel. Uh, professor Catala, um, he's the physics professor at this campus. Uh, he's helping me with, uh, like I'm doing a research project on this as well. So like by the end of the semester, I'm working with him to like research everything that I might need by, uh, by like, when I start construction. So like all the safety, all of the like, everything that I'm gonna need, I'm working with him uh, this semester. The robotics club. Um, well, yeah, let, me, let me ask you here another question, Sean. I will interrupt you because I have many fine. questions. If anybody else has questions, you guys can uh, interrupt what, me as well. In your project, what is the robotic part? What are the robotic part is? Okay, so um, especially towards the end, my plan is to like order a bunch of parts from this website that basically you need to code every single part so that like if the coaster goes over this section of track, the brakes will like lock. So I'm gonna need your guys' help, especially with that part because it's gonna be like a lot of equipment, a lot of parts that we're gonna need to like code, a lot of um, electrical parts that we're gonna like need to connect to the train. Everything has to like coincide, everything has to work together to like make sure that this is like as safe as possible and like as cohesive as possible. So that's mostly what I'm gonna need the robotics club's help with is um, making sure that everything is very like cohesive, everything works together, um, nothing like can go wrong. There's a bunch of like safety features in case stuff goes wrong. So Dr. Bonilla, I spoke with her um, this Tuesday uh, and she also said that uh, whatever I might need, 
needs, she can help me with. Uh, she also told me a bunch of stuff that I do need before like I speak to the higher ups. Um, the math club, I'm in the math club. For some reason, uh, there was something with the president and he just hasn't like been active at all. So uh, I'm not sure what's going on with the math club, but whatever. Miami Lakes Educational Center, uh, that's a super, super vital place. It's helped me a ton. They're fabricating the actual track for the coaster. So like the thing that we're gonna sit on and ride around the train in, they're fabricating that. They said that they also have access to some inspectors, some welders to like actually come on site and help like weld the stuff once it gets here. Um, and after that, they're also going to send like an inspector to inspect all the welding, uh, make sure that everything was done right. Uh, and again, just inspect it. Uh, Director Sanchez, uh, she's part of my research with uh, Professor Catala um, professionals. So. These are some people that I've reached out to uh, that have actually built roller coasters, have been part of building roller coaster, have just done something regarding like building roller coasters. So Andrew Schaefer, he's the person who's in Bush Gardens. He's the project manager. He worked on most recently Iron Gwazi. Um, I've been reaching out to him, like talking to him about like the programs that he might use um, and some like whatever CAD softwares that he uses. Sean LaRochelle and Mike Field, uh, they're both part of a company called Magitecture, which have built a ton of backyard roller coasters, which is essentially what this is. It's just a small scale roller coaster um, that like, if you like roller coasters, you could just put it in your backyard, like build it, whatever. Um, and Paul Gregg is also another person who just builds backyard roller coasters for fun. He's built um, a ton and he actually gave me two books on like building these backyard roller coasters. So I've been using that as a resource. I've like been reading through it. Um, and he also sent me the uh, like CAD design for the train that I'm gonna use to put on the track. Uh, that's like what I sent to Miami Lakes Educational Center and they are using that to make the, the train. The trains that you decide to use, Chan, uh, could you go back to your trains, please? Uh, yeah, let me go to... <laughs> the trace. No, the, the, uh, the thing before this. The no. thing before this? Yeah, what trace will you use? Um, what do you mean? trace that... Uh, yeah. Like, I made, I made this myself in a, like, in a program that's made for, like, designing these coasters. Right. So, after this, um, I could import this model into, like, the the program that Bush Gardens uses, which is called No Limits 2. It's specifically made for like these huge companies to design these roller coasters. Um, and after that, uh, I should, I mean, from here, I could send it to like the American Engineering and then they should be able to fabricate these parts just using like this model alone. Okay, and, and what did they, did they say anything, any recommendation after they saw what is the, 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 the trace that you designed? Um, they, they didn't really tell me, they, all they told me was that they can do it. And I'm still trying to like contact them because I, for some reason this week, they haven't been in contact with me. Um, and let's see, um, Miami Lakes Educational Center, uh, they were the ones who referred me to American Engineering. So I've been talking with them and then they said that they're, they're gonna contact them for me. Um, and then hopefully that they can talk to me back because I've only heard from them once. Okay. Um, they said that they could do it, but that's all I've heard from them. They could do it. Um, so do after- Do you have any idea what is the cost? Uh, okay, so I, that's also another thing that I'm trying to talk to American Engineering about. Um, the other professionals, those professionals that have all like built these backyard roller coasters, right. have told me that like the end, end cost with like all the safety, all those features, Theirs, uh, their latest one was like around forty to fifty thousand. So it's not like too crazy, but um, yeah, there is. I, I thought that we were talking about hundred thousand or so. Me too. That, I, I, that's that's yeah, crazy. I think right? that's forty fifty yeah, thousand. I think I think ours is obviously going to be more expensive than theirs because ours is for MDC. Like it's a public like thing now. Like people are going to be able to use ride on which is a big safety thing uh theirs it's more of like a backyard and like 
if tourists want to come, like they can, but not. It's not as used as these. So what I want to do is, it's probably going to be more than fifty thousand, obviously. Oh yeah, you were. Yeah. Uh, we're yeah. talking here about hundreds of thousands. Yeah. Of I'm th I'm thinking so too because yeah. especially I want to get like the best equipment possible because I don't want any incidents to happen on this, and I want it to be as easy to maintain as possible. And like, if you want it to be easy to maintain, you're gonna need more expensive stuff, better equipment, higher quality, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely thinking that's just like what it costed them. And theirs is like around the same size as what mine is. So I'm expecting maybe like 100,000, even like 150,000, anywhere around there. That's like just highballing it. I was gonna say something that, uh, because uh, it seems crazy to me too, but he told me about like forty thousand dollars, and I was like, "What?" We went to look it up. Like, if we could, you could buy one. Like, uh, yeah, but uh, those those companies are gonna overcharge. Of course, no, yeah, it's it's always different. We saw those stuff, but then I thought to myself, "Come from Ecuador, okay? <laughs> uh, they make roller coasters there. They make them with sticks and stones. They're probably not safe. They the, the things <laughs> shake. You, you feel like you're gonna die. But like, they, they work." That's the thing, it's crazy. They work. And they make them with like, uh, with like uh, mud. Yeah, you know? like actually the people it, that it, have... It, yeah, but uh, so like if they can make it over there with nothing, we should be able to make it. This person, Paul Gregg, who's built like a ton of backyard roller coasters, he actually makes them out of PVC pipes. He makes them out of PVC pipes and the, the train is the only thing that's steel. So like you can literally make these out of like anything. If you, yeah, it shouldn't they, be anything. They will charge. All these professionals that you reach there, they will charge, bro. For yeah, of course. Of course. But yeah. no, the, uh, he, he ha they haven't charged you yet. They haven't charged me yet. But no, 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 he's I asking understand. if they're going to charge oh, me. Yeah, yeah, of right. course. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but. Um, no, wait, wait. Excellent. Uh, Miami Lakes Educational Center, though, um, from him, I haven't really heard like that he's going to charge me. Uh, when he referred me to uh, American Engineering, he warned me that they are going to charge you, of course they're going to charge me, but... Yeah, but the problem is, I think that he he advised you, because you know any of these guys, any of those guys, you know what they did, uh, where are they located first, out of... Yeah, out of, out of Florida. Out of Florida. Out of Florida. I think uh, Paul Gregg is the only one who's situated then in Florida. one hour of work for these guys, believe me. Yep. One no, this guy, this guy, Mike Field, he worked on roller coasters for for uh, nine plus years, and he told me that the the roller coaster that costed fifty thousand, um, he was working on it for three days, and same scale as mine, and like a big coaster, he worked on that in three days, and he got all the safety features done, all the coding, everything, he got it all working. So like these people are like incredible. So I'm really, really glad, especially him. Um, like, we at least have him to like, maybe we could even video call him, Zoom call. He told me that he's more than willing to like Zoom call. So maybe he can like walk us through like how to do any of that stuff or like um, maybe some extra features that we might need, stuff we might need to consider, all that stuff. Okay, so this is what I'm working on now. So um, with my research project, I'm making a smaller scale uh, 3D printed uh, model of my actual coaster. Um, and I finally, I was able to design uh, supports for these structures that look, I thought they came out so good. Um, they, uh, so I'm like trying to place them around the track, maybe make some supports and all that stuff so that we can have like a smaller scale working model so that like, whatever, we can just test it out. Um, see some stuff the, that we need to see. Thing, so the the real but something that we talked about is uh, to test the the supports, right? What is it? To test to test the support, the position of the supports. Well, go back, go back, please. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Those supports need to be at very specific locations. Oh, to have the no, 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 not right. just specific. Yeah, location. and that's what I wanted to talk to Dr. Bonilla about. That's what I actually went to speak to her about that. Um, the program that I used to like originally design the coaster, they don't give you any support. So I, I was going to her to like see if, oh, uh, from an engineering perspective, like do you know where we could like put all this stuff? Um, and she said that she could help me uh, with whatever I need. So I'm. Um, Wait, uh, Sean. Let's uh, step by step. You need to. Do you imagine that this uh, support 
but you are talking about art will buy ha will have a, a static and dynamic growth, right? Dynamic growth, right? Because yeah, this shit good. passes there. Yeah. Who will do the calculations for that? Um, actually, uh, I was um, speaking to the Andrew Schaefer from Bush Gardens, and he says that they have a program that's like, he said 50,000, but I'm not sure if it's 50,000. Um, I'm not sure if he was just like estimating or just giving me a number. Um, it's anywhere from like, I would say 20,000 to 50,000. Um, and it's like a CAD software that they use to like do all that stuff and like do all the supports. All It does the calculations for them pretty much. Um, I was thinking maybe we could either, I could do that or um, no limits. I, I think that they have a feature that like does all the calculations for them. That like roller coaster building program that I was talking about that all these big companies use, no limits, that one. I was thinking that one also can you do have it that so I don't have the program yet, but it's, it's only like 30 or 40 bucks, which I should, I could definitely get it. But um, I'm still just trying to work on this and like get all the supports ready to 3D print it, get a small model, make sure that like the small model works before we like blow it up and like make a super big model. Um, let's see, so there's the timeline. So uh, this semester, what I want to do is I want to, this is basically all the research that I was talking about. So uh, I want to get the quote from American Engineering, from America, uh, the Miami Lakes Tech, um, and uh, from Mike Field, that professional that worked on them for nine plus years, to see like all the safety things I would need to get like an estimated quote of like whatever, and then talk to the science department, talk to like see if I need more funding, see if whatever, any of that stuff. So uh, where, where it's gonna go. Um, Sorry, who is offering the phone, mathematics The science phone? department. Uh, I, I, the mathematics department said that they would help me, but um, I, don't, I don't know if they have like the budget for it now. Because I was speaking to Darlene and she said that she doesn't know if they have the budget for that. Or like... Did you talk to the chairperson already? Yeah, I talked to the chairperson already, but um, she, didn't, she didn't tell me like yes or no. She, was, she just wanted like information on the project. So, um, Darn, I, I mostly been speaking to Darlene about it, um, and she said that she would really love to help, like with, in any way she can. But uh, she doesn't know if, like, they have a big budget for that. Um, so where I don't know exactly where it's gonna go. I want to put it somewhere near the science complex um, because science complex looks very modern and it looks very like new. Um, so I wanted to put it somewhere near the science complex. If you guys have any suggestions where you think that w that should go. Um, I'll gladly take Over the lake. No. <laughs> um, the prints, uh, just the 3D printing, like the small model that I was going to make, um, and the supports, uh, just where to put the supports, which is what I was talking to Dr. Bonilla about. Um, summer of 2023, I want to begin fabrication of the, of the train and the tracks. Um, construction is set to start in fall of 2023, um, which is also where uh, I'll order any safety parts. I'll do like anything with safety that I need. And then spring of 2024, it's also, um, I'm also using it to like, if I don't finish it by this time, I can use spring to like also work on it. Um, and also I just, I just wanna focus on safety in spring as well. Like just after everything is done, just do as much safety as I can. Maybe install a fence, which I was thinking of, like around the trains so that nobody. Then, uh, you cannot do uh, so many horror cases that kids just get their heads blown off when they get close to you. you gotta do that. It's not gonna be electrified. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like I, I heard the story about that roller coaster that like uh, you have your feet hanging out. No, oh, yeah, uh, Batman I mean, the ride. So that that was actually um, because they could somebody the fence, lost right? somebody lost. I think it was their wallet or their phone. Somebody lost something on the ride, but and then they that? tried to go climb under it and. Um, get it and then somebody like kicked their head and it like it flew off like it kicked their head off that um, was insane but stuff it was like a, that's not gonna happen here no, because, say, no you have to have a fence right like, yeah exactly yeah. like it's i can't just not put a fence because then anybody would have access to it anybody can tamper with it anybody can just like cut some cords anybody that's that's too big of a risk the the fence is more of a benefit than it is like a take back yeah um, and either way, somebody can like climb the train, jump off. There's a ton of things that can go wrong. So like a fence would just, whatever, help. And then opening summer 2024, that's my estimated opening time. Um, okay, so that was an idea I thought of um, 
yesterday when I was making this PowerPoint. Um, so I was, uh, there is one issue which is like maintenance after I leave. Um, so I was thinking maybe I can like uh, pass down my impacts project, which is something you can do in the honors college. You can like pass down the project you're working on to the next like generation of students. So I was thinking I could pass my impacts project down to the next generation of honors college students and then maybe they can like just work on it every time, every and then keep passing it down. You know, if, if someone tell me that the roller coaster is maintained by the honor college students, I never in my life will see that. <laughs> okay? Yeah, that's true. Then the, 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 this will, you will need the, the group of workers mm -hmm. that periodically come, it, it means, uh, Again, it's, 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 yeah, it's a lot. Okay? We, saw, we saw the lifetime, though. Remember, we I did some research with it. Was, uh, the lifetime of the, such roller coasters was like what, fifteen years, something. Like um, that? with proper maintenance, it can go like 20, 30 years. Especially if it's fully steel, it can go twenty to thirty years. Okay. So, uh, but obviously it's maintenance. So, like. Uh, well, I remember I got a call from uh, one of the guys that we were talking to. They they told me some some stuff about. I think I told you everything everything that he told me. I don't remember right now, but I remember him saying stuff about that. That like usually they plan them out. They they the companies that do that they sell basically the, the thing plus the service of like servicing the thing. Like they build it for you and the and they service it for you. So like that's part of like what's built into their costs, mm -hmm. right? Like uh, like they say like and. Uh, I believe I asked them to give me a quote of like how much can I be expected to play. Like, let's say I buy one of your roller coasters and I expect to be running it for like 15 years. What would my cost looks like? Uh, looks he didn't send me anything back on it, but I think that's something that we have to keep in, in mind. If we, we do it the way that Sean says, uh, we can reduce costs that way. I don't think that the maintenance would be like that extreme, right? You can no, it shouldn't be that extreme, like, um, especially if like everything is welded correctly, all the steel is like. Good. The mo the main thing that we're gonna need maintenance on is all the electrical work, all the like um, chain, well, safety chains stuff. Too, you the chain, bullet, the you chain lift. Um, you need you might need to oil it every time you use it, um, and the right. the wheels of the train. But just mostly like small little like things that like maybe once a month you can do. Yeah. Right. So I know I'm late. I need that class. You finished the pitch already? Is this like the last part or you? Just yeah. Finished? I mean. It's recorded. Well, well, you can see yeah, it. Yeah, but, see it. But um, can you give me like a summary real quick so I can? Add I'm building a roller coaster for the for the, this campus. Right, where? Um, uh, good question. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably yeah, near the. I, I'm thinking around the science complex. Near the science complex, like in the graph kind of thing. I think so. Okay. You, um, don't forget the lab told me about it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what we were trying to do. Uh, as many of the honors college kid here, we went. Me and Luby went and we talked to Magda to mm -hmm. see what she would give us, right? But it seems more like a Catala thing. Yeah. And I think the hardest part for you is going to be the money. Like, where are we going to pull that money up? I don't think Magda is going to be nice enough to give us that money. Yeah. And then Catala said that a fee of like a, a project of that size and that like cost needs to be approved by a lot of people. Yeah, I know. I I spoke to the purchasing department. Uh, at this campus, who um, actually I think they're the ones who are gonna have to like buy the the maintenance people, the like ones who come and order it, um, because from what I heard, everything goes through the purchasing department. Like any outside people go through the purchasing department. So I already spoke to them, um, and they said uh, as long as like the president approves of it, that it, it's that's a matter. Uh, from the campus, he got experience asking for those things. I think that you could ask him. Well, you know, it, in order for us to for the robotic club to to get the first two hundred thousand dollars, we spend around uh, three four years fighting to get this amount of money. Yeah. And I am sure, I am sure that the project that you have in mind go far away. Of two hundred above two hundred thousand dollars, and, and by the way, I am not saying uh, it's not a pessimistic view. No, of course, it's a realistic it's really one. Yeah. The safety, you know, you know, for this guy, the president of the shit. What does it mean? 
to say, yeah, go and ride the roller coaster. Do you, if someone happened, God forbid, anything did, you know the responsibility of this guy? The Miami University, this fucking shit will close because of the amount of money that he will be asked for. Mm -hmm. it, it means, I, I will, when, when you talk to me, I, what was my first question? Do you have permit? And you yeah. tell me, oh, I believe you, yeah. I believe you. Is the guy, is the guy in the, you mean you maintain him, uh, him informed about this type of yeah. thing? No, yeah. then, believe me, it's great, it's great, yeah. and I wish you the best. But uh, again, yeah, but but it's not about one hundred fifty thousand dollars. No, it will above, far away above this amount. Just and you say that that's a cost just in security, right? just to make. Like, oh yeah, this, yeah. you know this. I didn't want to go there because, by the way, you will act like a like a project manager. You will do nothing. Because you don't know anything about fundamentals, you're right? You don't know anything about the steel. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. If, uh, then yeah, you will be the, the guy that says we bring. Uh, I want this. I want that. Uh, and I don't have no doubt mm. that Catala can tell you which are the angles in order for the accelerations and the velocity be the right one. But in paper is one thing. You know, and in the reality, it's all the thing. Uh, these are the, but again, I think that the, the most, uh, the limitant substance, like we say in chemistry, we say, no, they say. Limiting reactant. Exactly. Is, in my, in my opinion, you know, the permit of the boss in order to say, you, yes, do it. And the other one is the amount of money. Steel is very expensive. Yeah, especially right Steel is very expensive, you know. There are different types of steels. All the steels are not the same. You need a good one there. Then yes, you need a huge electrical motor. That is the one that will impose the thing, right? Not that big. You know, the, uh, that big, too big. You know that big? You know that big? How many cars you will put just there? One. Just one. Ah, just one car? Just one. Oh. Uh, more than one is more yeah. safety stuff. Oh, okay. And oh. complexity increases the more cars you yeah. put because you have the, the little seconds. And especially if like there's more people in the same car. I'm, I'm just finding one person per like cycle. It's not going to be that long, so it's not very, very good. Better. Very good. Um, yeah. but like the more the more people and like the more trains, the more right. factors, the more everything. No, no, the, the limitations are perfect and are very really good. Yeah. By the way, and you need to yes, you need to be specific. He will uh, will write one guy. You should mention yeah. that. You should definitely for the next person you should definitely mention just one car because that's a big Yeah. Factor you see I was thinking about more than one car. Uh, okay. That you get the tail is of one car with one guy. Yeah. That's it. That that's the condition. Mm. Okay. No, best wishes, best wishes. Uh, and again, the the, the 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 few power that we have in the robotic club, you can count on it. Again, I don't see a lot of things about the robotics there. Maybe later on you can see or we can see all together the morals, how yeah, to after the, he built, what can we do to make it better? I, I mentioned I mentioned to him too uh, that obviously because he wants to make this a tool for learning too, is basically apply all the sensors that for example that I'm doing, being able to put all of those and get accurate readings uh, all the time. So for example, look, my thing, right? It works through a network. It's completely wireless. What is it, Philip? My, my gyroscope, right? Yeah. Completely wireless, right? So I could have that on his, uh, on his, uh, on on the car itself, right? Add whatever sensors you want. We could add like a four array sensors, whatever you can think of, okay? And I can get the readings real time through the network. So well, like, uh, uh, this, uh, uh, this, uh, 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 this, let me tell you the following. There is a there is a salon for new airplanes in 
French, Le Bourget. No, I don't speak French. I don't know if I uh, pronounce it in yeah. In the was uh, the seventies. In the seventies, Israel Israel uh, people ask the the guys of the of that exposition. You know, would be great. All, the whole world every year send there the new airplane that they built. And the guys of this uh, of Israel ask them, tell me what is the position where my plane would be located. Give me the exact coordinate. All of a sudden, a plane appears in the space, went down and parked there. When people come, there was no pilot. Was autopilot plane. What I am saying all this shit, why it could be done in Le Bourget? Why can we, can we do not, can, why, we cannot do that in other input? Because we do not have the census, the instrumentation. It means if you, if we agree, if really we want to make it to learn people, if we equip your roller coaster, the, not the roller coaster, the trace with the necessary instrument, there will be an amazing, uh, an amazing uh, things, uh, results of information for the, uh, students in physics, mathematics, calculus, as you said, mm -hmm. many, many good things. That we, of course, now is totally premature, but maybe the robotic clock will think about that. Yeah. Perfect. Again, the best wishes, and you can count on me, you can count on all of us. All of us support you. Okay, the robotic clock nice. support you. Again, you need to fight a lot. Still, it's a lot of fight. In my opinion, the timing is premature also. If I was you, I recommend to give more time. The money won't appear immediately, Shen. It's not that you go and ask, you know, uh, mm -hmm. we got some money again. When did we see the guy, Felipe? He was with me. I was with you. That was uh, on that conference that we went to. Uh, Maybe November. Uh, yeah, something like that. I think, yeah. And you know, the guy told me, yeah, he said we have the money. Everything that you ask, my will will be mine. Now it's uh, what? It's almost done. Uh, January and still, we have nothing. But, but why the guy told me, yes, the, it's the money? What was November, but that money was asked before January, the year 2021. You understand? It, it means it's big. Why? Because they depend on uh, grants. You know, the grants are the ones that give the money. We, we produce nothing here. We produce nothing. Then the grant is the opportunity that uh, we have to get money and to invest in this type of thing. Think about it, my recommendation, make it a little bit late. No, 2024, I don't know, give yourself time. Yeah. If you can make it before, it's not a problem. If you don't after, this is problematic. Mm -hmm. well, that's it, uh, that's what I want to say. <laughs> Any other questions? Anybody has questions? Yeah, I, I think your hardest part is going to be the bureaucracy, like what the member comment said, mm -hmm. the money. Like, um, I see your question there, pass on my info project to the next generation of honors college students. That was, just, that was just an idea, by the way. I, I know, I know, but like, I'm looking at it from like an honors college view. I think it's amazing. Like, I think what you, what you could do, really, is make it like a project. So let's say you get accepted and everything, right? 
you get a, a group of students, right? They could do like a internship kind of thing. They get experience, maybe pay them whatever you want. I think the hardest part really is gonna be when you finish it. Cause I'm pretty sure everything has to be certified by like actual engineers. Yeah. So yeah, we need to make sure there's an inspector. Like yeah. He already talked about that, uh, but yeah. I wasn't yeah. here, that's why. Yeah, 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 I'm saying. But yeah, oh, my, yeah. Sorry. But um, I think I think it could be amazing. We have a lot of resources here. So for example, for the cart, we could uh, have the uh, design students, the architect students maybe. Uh, um, for the design, I have um, Miami Lakes Tech. Actually, I already have a professional who designed the train for this project. Not for this project specifically. But he already designed the train, like, and I'm gonna use that for this project. Um, and Miami Lakes Tech, they're making the train for me, like welding it and everything. So what you're missing is what the track. Um, well, I'm missing a quote first, and I'm also doing a small model to like make sure that the you know it all oh, works. So building a small model. Yeah, I'm like three D printing. Yeah, I'm gonna face it. No, we're making it here. Yeah, we're making it here. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I, again, this is going to be something that's going to take you a lot. Like, you're first year, and you're in your second semester, but this will probably be finished by the time you graduate from your other institution that I'm transferred to. You know, I, I think you could do it. I would help you. I, I, I'd love to help you, right, on my last semester, but I wouldn't mind helping you. Mm -hmm. You know, get this approved through MAGDA. But I just think the money is just going to get But remember the thing that I told you. You better think about this almost as in a, as a legacy thing. You better make sure that it works without you. You got to make yeah. a system. Yeah, that's why yeah. I was, that's why I was, t uh, that's why I had just thought about that. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. that's, that'll like kind of guarantee that at least the next generation will at least like think about it and at least try to work on it. Um, especially if it's like your impact project, you're required to like, do um, checkpoints and like you're required to like show progress through it so like that would kind of like force their hand to like work on it a little bit or like at least maybe even get the make sure that the people are like going down maintaining it stuff like that mm. I, th I think it works for them but this is a long term thing I think yeah. a lot of right now is a long term because if you talk if you request and this and that it's going to take a couple years to get the money I would then you have to think about your crew Right, because like by the time this gets approved, you won't be a student here, right? So unless you want to work on it as like a project for like your career, right? Then you have to think about all that. You How many years still you will be here? Um, I leave after my second year, after I get my degree. Okay. How many times? So like still? a year left, or one year, year and a half. Year and a half. Mm. Uh, I mean, I, I was speaking to the, the people who have like, um, the Sean La Rochelle, who works with Magitecture, who had gave me the quote for like 40, 50,000. Um, he said that the last one that he built, literally everything, design, uh, production, like making of the steel took him six months. But, so I know, I know ours is going to be obviously a much like, I have to do more in detail. Everything has to be like more safety, more everything, and I know that. But I think I don't know. I'm gonna my, try to my get my recommendation much. now. Uh, mathematics. Take a look at system PERT. P E R T. It's a system used to control the the behavior of the projects. What is the first word? What is after that? And maybe you heard about the critical route. It means the route that if you miss one day here, the whole thing will be back by one day. PERT system, PERT uh, program, PERT, it has to do with mathematics. If you want, we can talk about it. Sorry, that's a project okay? management? Is that like for project management? It, I, I, uh, yeah, it's to, it's to manage project, okay. yes. Yeah. Uh, but this project, mm -hmm. why I'm recommending you so? Because there are so many different people, you know? Yeah. Well, we do a project here in the robotic club who is working here and two or three more. Mm -hmm. But you are dealing with tens of people, different organizations. Then it's very good to have this uh, put diagram, you will find the critical route, 
And you will then ask each of them, hey, you miss one day, you know what? My project will be one day late. It, it's great. Mm. It's huge. Mm. Have you told Magda? No, I don't know Magda yet. I mean, Magda's just dean of the honors college. Yeah, but she has that power. She, she does have the power, but recognition behind her. She pushes the project with you. Right? That's you true. That's, that. yeah, well, that's, that's true. something that was about. Uh, I mean, would I just go to her and, like, do you no, approve no. of this? Just speak to her about it? No, no, no. no. I don't think. That's what, something that I was thinking. And that's why I told you to make the thing big. Because the model that he's making, the one that we're trying to make, is doesn't fit in the, in the 3D printer. It's too big. So we're going to cut it up, make it into three parts, and then, like, make it big. What I want him to do is to make like a shock and all, like to be able to like show some big thing that almost like already works, like uh, even have like a little thing, a little, with a little track that already does everything. So then he can go, for example, to Magda, to the, especially the president guy, show him the thing, and because right now what you have is a verbal yes in negotiations. That words, yeah, I know. it's not that worth a lot, right? You have verbal yes. The true yes, the commitment yes, is like a, a signed contract, you would say, like in the business yeah. world, but like you need some assurance that, like, some signed assurance from it. And the only way that you get that is by, why, why I tell you, like, this shock and all, that, like, he needs to be like, wow, and there needs to be a lot of people there, they need to be like, this is crazy, we need to do this. And, like, uh, you need to have, like, that excitement, and then you ask them, okay, sign this. <laughs> like, you need to get, like, a signed thing that says, we're gonna do this, and, like, you, the president is committed to doing this over. The, uh, I think you need to be a bit more, uh, give more time and say like that this project will be completed over the course of a couple of years like this. Uh, so because if the president puts his name behind it, then like it's his ass if it if uh, if it doesn't get completed at uh, this time, right? Mm -hmm. So you need to say okay, the president is backing this project, his name signed here, and it's gonna be completed over this time. Then uh, obviously you are the project manager. For this, but you need to like uh, with all this uh, system of saying like, okay, we're gonna as uh, we use like a Scrum uh, way of doing things. Maybe the PERT way of uh, project management might be better because Scrum is usually used for software management. PERT might be for like bigger projects. Yeah. Like, so uh, that makes I think that that makes more sense for that. I was gonna say Scrum, but like that's the way I. But yeah. So you need to present that timeline definitely with. Like, uh, like, is the shock and all timeline and say sign here? And if you get that signature, then you are set, set. Okay, so and that's why I wanted to make something big, something that we can, like, uh, we have a lot of events. We can take your thing, put it on that event, and we make sure that the president goes there. Uh, Professor Carnes can hopefully tell us when he like, make sure that he goes there, he sees your thing, and then it's like, uh, you remember you told me yes about this thing? We got it here, we got this thing, I want you to put your name on it, okay. And uh, that is a that is the true yes. Do you have like a handbook? Like you have something that you can show to someone if you were to like pitch it? I I just have my like proposal, the entire project proposal. Yeah. So uh, it's still we still uh, that's why that's yeah, why yeah, yeah, this semester he had a very good beginning already. Uh, everyone said yes. Uh, it's uh, I hope that when you say yes, he said yes. Yeah, I started this project uh, in oh, November. I well, what have you done so far? Everything. Everything yeah, that you see now, I've, I've done. done. Know, talking I, to I a lot of people. I, I, he's been talking to me, uh, basically he's doing like a lot of groundwork. Like he needs to, he has a big foundation that he needs to make up for. But uh, for example, that like a pitch proposal thing, that's what I want him to work on right now. Like basically to be able to do that pitch, the thing that you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, and um, that's what I'm doing this semester. I'm working with Professor Catala and Director Sanchez. Um, I'm doing a research research paper with them. And I'm going to put that in my proposal. I'm going to put the letters like of all the departments that are working with me, like get them in writing like a letter saying that they are going to help me. And then I'm going to present that to the dean and to the president so that they can like sign it, maybe even sign the impact project, like something like that. Or I'll do in the back like... What is the know. research you are doing with Catala? Uh, it's, it's basically just all the stuff that I'm telling you, like... Um, where we're gonna put it. It's literally just researching the project like where I'm gonna put it the quote um, okay. And all that stuff that I'm trying to figure out you guys if you uh, if you allow me now Let me tell a few words before I go mm. Felipe we need to as I recommend last time mm. every single Thursday one of the members 
same thing you did. Mm -hmm. What they are doing, uh, how it's going, how far are you going, mm -hmm. in order for us to know. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise it's just a reunion of uh, several people without no purpose. It's important. Each mm -hmm. then when the people when someone stand there like he and tell us what is he doing, he's He's having a compromise with us. He already tell us what he will do, and I know that he's committed, and I know that if, if he is supported by the bosses, he will do it. Exactly the same I want to see every, every of our members to do something, something like you did, something that he did also. Uh, you, you, I have a class later on. I need to go. No, no. Thank you very much. I'm great. Is that the last, the last slide or you got um, I think, yeah, I, we already talked about like uh, what the last slide was, uh, what you can help with. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 I have this paper uh, they sent me. What is it? What do you need to sign? Yeah, for the student mentor agreement form. Well, thank you everyone. Let me just close out the stream. Uh, good stuff. Uh, if you want to reference it, it's on our Twitch yeah. channel. Twitch? Okay. So. What's your Twitch? Yeah, what's uh, MDC Robotics. Well, that's not my Twitch. That's the. No, I, I know your Twitch. I saw it on Discord. What? Oh, yeah. I didn't know I had there. But yeah, yeah, it's MDC Robotics. They, if you get, anyone wants to take a look at it, uh, I'll just put it up here. Whatever. Actually, can I just? I need it, my friend. Hmm? It's here. Thank you. You're more than welcome. Thank you. Can you Have a good one, guys. You too. Take care. You can live stream WhatsApp no, through. Have a good day. Oh, oh yeah, I should do that. Is there a group for this? Because yes. Oh, are you not in the group? Talk no, I'm not in the group. Oh, well, yeah.